E aí pessoal, Marcos na área, canal Nerd 4.0. Vamos lá continuar com o nosso tutorial do Company of Heroes. Após a vinhetinha. Voltando aí com Company of Heroes. Vamos lá continuar nosso tutorial. Welcome to Company of Heroes. Company of Heroes is a real-time strategy game that focuses on frontline combat, capturing key strategic points and leading your company to victory. Vamos lá. Vamos fazer aqui, ó, segundo treino exército britânico e formação Panzer Elite. Vamos lá. Welcome, sir, to 3rd Battalion, Bodicus Boys, 2nd British Army. During this training exercise, you'll familiarize yourself with the British Army of opposing fronts and its command structure. We will cover infantry deployment, lieutenants, mobile command trucks and defensive emplacements. Hmm. Então aqui, ó, britânico é um pouquinho diferente, ele veio com caminhão. Third Battalion has just moved into the area. We need to move out and capture additional territory. This is an infantry section, the basic infantry squad of the British Army. Left click on your infantry section to select it. Vamos selecionar aqui a infantaria. Now, right click on the indicated position to notice how your squad moves. Proposição. While moving in friendly territory, all British squads move using their assault stance. The infantry section is now entering neutral territory. Notice the change in stance. When moving in neutral or enemy territory, all squads adopt a patrolling stance. They move more cautiously, sacrificing speed for protection. Vamos lá. Gente, muita atenção aqui na legenda, tá? Explicando aí o jogo. Let's help them out by deploying a lieutenant. Left click on your command truck to select it. Vamos selecionar aqui o caminhão. Left click on the flashing button on the command panel to lieutenants are the basic officers of the British. Formar um tenente. They are critical to the success of your army. Excellent. Your lieutenant is ready. Select your lieutenant. Move your lieutenant to the infantry section. Whenever a lieutenant is near infantry, his presence provides discipline to all nearby soldiers. Good. The star over your infantry shows that a lieutenant is nearby. This grants them combat and veterancy bonuses, so it's best to keep the lieutenants close. Since the lieutenant is so critical to the success of your infantry, it is important for him to maintain command range. Left click on the flashing button to order your lieutenant to follow an infantry section. Manter comando gama. Diretor seguirá esquadrão alvo a uma distância de combate mais seguro. Ícone esquerdo do mouse. E em seguida, é, clique com o botão left esquerdo do alvo. Left click on the flashing alvo. button to order your. Now, left click on the indicated infantry section. Yes, sir. Good. Notice the symbol Aí. above the lieutenant, indicating that he is now following the infantry section. Select your infantry section. All right. Now, let's order the infantry section to capture that munitions point. Vamos lá capturar. Notice that your infantry are moving much more quickly with the lieutenant nearby. Watch out. O posto de munição. Já tem confronto. Excellent work. Enemy patrol defeated. Your infantry might have had a tough fight. Good thing the lieutenant was there to keep them in line. Proceed with capturing the sector. Ah, tá. O tenente está mantendo o esquadrão em linha. Proceed with capturing the sector. Vamos lá. We have a munitions depot to take.
Proceed with capturing the sector. Aí a gente captura aqui primeiro Proceed ponto. Proceed the... Good. This sector is munição. now under your control. Even though we have captured the munitions point, it is not secure. Unsecured points provide less resources. Let's secure that munitions point now. The British secure territory sectors differently than other armies. They use their mobile command trucks. Command trucks are the backbone of the British Army because they can be deployed anywhere on the battlefield. They allow the British to call in reinforcements where they are needed. More importantly, once deployed, command trucks also secure territory sectors. Vamos lá continuar aqui. Select your command truck. Selecionar aqui o caminhão. Select to the munitions sector that you just captured. Left click on the flashing button to mobile. Ele já vai pedir para a gente movimentar esse caminhão. Então aqui, ó. Estamos aqui movimentando. Você vê que ele vai se preparando para a movimentação. Command truck is mobile. Look at the minimap. All your territory is flashing. Whenever your headquarters command truck is mobile, your controlled territory will not be in supply. Sectors that are not in supply do not generate resources. Eu sei que às vezes o tutorial é um pouco cansativo, mas eu preferi fazer para a gente entender uh, o jogo, né? It can deploy units closer to the front line or relocate if the enemy is attacking. The command truck is carefully. Na hora da batalha mesmo a gente já vai entender mais ou menos como funciona. Eu não vai ficar, não, vou, não vamos ficar aí perdidos, não. Que na hora da batalha é frenético o negócio. Agora que o HQ está dentro da munição, nós precisamos de deploy para secure o território. Left click on the flashing button to set up your command truck. Ó, oh, aqui a gente já pode voltar. Left click on the indicated position within the sector to order your command truck to begin setting up there. Vou colocar aqui, ó. HQ command truck moving out. Left click on the indicated position within the sector to order your command truck to begin. É o, ba o bacana dos britânicos é essa mobilidade, né? Coisa que o que o, o exército americano não tem, porém, o exército americano pode fazer quartéis. Em vários lugares no mapa. Notice that the territory has stopped flashing. Your territory is now back in supply. Your munitions resource rate has improved dramatically as well. Vamos lá. To build a machine gun emplacement, select your infantry section. Click on the flashing button to left click on the machine oh, gun emplacement. Também aí, nossa... by left. Finally, set the facing of the nossa metralhadora, nossa nossos pontos de defesa. Bem parecido com os americanos. Só que o americano ele consegue colocar aquela Aquela proteção a mais aqui nos pontos de munição, os britânicos não. Estruturas como like pits ou casualty clearing stations. O inimigo tem descobrido a localização. Stand 2. Um MG emplacement é uma excelente defesa contra a infantaria atacando. Vamos lá, vamos lá. Confronto! Olha, não para de chegar a gente, rapaz! Não para de chegar a galerinha do mal aí, ó. Good. Enemy infantry neutralized. Aí conseguimos aí neutralizar. Né? Additional protection for our troops. Let's build a slit trench. Click on the flashing button to access your def. Left click on the flashing slit. Left click on the indicated location. Set the facing of the slit trench. Trincheira. Unique to the British, slit trenches are defensive structures that infantry can garrison for additional protection from enemy fire. É bom para proteção dos soldados, né? Isso aí fica com, se vão se tornar aí o alvo menos vulnerável no jogo. Good. Notice that it is unoccupied after construction is complete. An unoccupied slit trench can be garrisoned by anyone, even the enemy. Vamos selecionar aí. Eita! Olha só! That mortar is wreaking havoc on our infantry. 
Order your infantry to do a good job. Trenches provide extra protection against artillery. Let's take out that mortar. Our ground yeah, forces are happens. unable to attack that mortar. We'll need to use a company commander ability from the royal commanders to attack it. Yeah, yes, you have been granted access to glider-borne commandos. Gliders are excellent for attacking positions behind the enemy's front line. To request a glider, left-click on the glider. Now left-click on the indicated position to identify the ah, starting vamos chamar location for the glider. Aí pra left click again to target the design. Na pressão. <laughs> bora, sim, bora, garoto. Order your commandos to take out that mortar. Remember your tactical training. Não é assim não, rapaz. Tá doido? Quer? Tira o porrada de bomba, rapaz. Now you know about some of the unique aspects of the British. You learned about the lieutenants and infantry, command trucks, and how to build ah, emplacements. Também, tio, granada, this concludes this training exercise, sir. Third battalion As bombas que eu acabei não, nem utilizando, né? A gente treinou aí. Terminamos aí esse tutorial britânico. Agora vamos lá pro tutorial é... Panzer. Né? Welcome to training, Kampfkorpelier standing by. During this exercise, é, aqui a gente dá uma visão quando você jogar, e também vai ter na expansão do jogo. Nós teremos a possibilidade de jogar com os alemães. Né? Kampfkorpelier has heard reports of enemy então, infantry in the area. We need to scout their position. First, left click on Panzer Grenadiers are the backbone of any Panzer Elite army. They are versatile and able to respond to any enemy threats. They also provide basic logistical support through building Vamos. base structures and repairing damaged vehicles. Novamente, atenção na legenda, gente. Aqui, ó, na explicação aqui em cima, ok? Garrison that half track. We need to move out. Right click the half track to order your Panzer Grenadier. You have deselected your squad. Left click on your Panzer Grenadier squad to select it. Right click the half track to order your Panzer Grenadiers to get inside. You have deselected your squad. Left click on your Panzer Grenadier squad to select it. Right click the half track to order your Panzer Grenadiers to get inside. Ah, tá. Estamos chamando a rapaziada pro veículo. Good. Notice that your Panzer Grenadiers have taken up positions in the back. Panzer Elite Infantry, garrisoned in open-top vehicles, can shoot out the back with any equipped weapons. Half-track and Panzer Grenadiers are ready for action. Vamos lá, continuar. Enemy infantry spotted. Move out and attack them. Os americanos agora estão vermelhos. <laughs> ready. Vamos lá. The Grenadiers are not only transported with a vehicle, but they add additional firepower to the half tracks own machine gun. Agora só alemão, rapaz. Caramba. Vou tentar mudar o ângulo aqui para ver melhor. Enemy infantry defeated. Look out! Counter attack! Movimentar. Pra cá. O bicho tá pegando, né? Damage. We need more firepower. Get a grenade on that infantry. Additional reinforcements available. Left click on the flashing grenade. Target the infantry and left click on them. Use incendiary grenades. A granada de mão. Don't do much initial damage, but entrenched squads will burn if they stay put. Enemy infantry neutralized. Recon reports an enemy infantry squad occupying a nearby Agora slip vamos trench. Lá a this is a mortar half track. 
His mobile artillery vehicle is quite effective at dealing with entrenched infantry. Select your mortar half-track. Order the mortar half-track to fire an incendiary barrage at the enemy infantry squad. Left-click on the flashing... Good. Now left-click on the enemy... Excellent. Jogar um whistle, torpedo, sei lá o que é isso. Esqueci o nome. Jogar uma bomba. Uma bomba na trincheira. Eita. Excellent. Bombardment underway. You'll notice your barrage was only marginally effective. Several more barrages are needed to fully ah, defeat the enemy squad. Né, Look at the incendiary barrage button. The ability has a long recharge time, preventing you from issuing additional barrages. Aí, ó, nós temos que esperar carregar, tá? Let's call and resupply support. Para jogar o track. This vehicle resupplies nearby units by greatly reducing the recharge time of their abilities. Select your munitions half track. Order the munitions half track to move closer to your mortar half track. Vamos, vamos, vamos movimentar aqui. Good. The munitions half track is within resupply range. This is indicated by the symbol above the mortar half track. Select your mortar half track. Notice the incendiary mortar ability. It is fully charged and ready to fire. Order the half track to barrage the infantry with incendiary rounds again. Já tá falando para jogar aqui. Ele falou torpedo mesmo, não falou? Notice the incendiary mortar ability recharges faster if the munitions half track mortero. is nearby. Torpedo, Continue torpedo to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. <laughs> Fire mission. White phosphorus inbound. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue, é assim mesmo. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Já conseguimos já o objetivo. Tem aqui incendiário. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Excellent job, infantry neutralized. Beleza. For our next objective, let's capture and secure territory. This is a scout car, a Panzer Elite vehicle that can capture strategic points. É, vamos capturar aqui o ponto estratégico. Order the scout car to capture the in the scout car is an Traz excellent um ponto de munição. Vehicle. Armed with an MG42 light machine gun, it is excellent for defeating lightly equipped infantry squads. A mesma forma, gente, que os americanos, que os britânicos. Né? Esse jogo lembra muito o War, né? Você vai ocupando os territórios. O job. O setor está agora em nosso controle. Agora é time de segurar. Para to segurar esse setor, você precisa upgrade seu scout car first. Left click on the flashing button to it. With this é, logistics um upgrade, um the scout car is able to secure no territory. Nosso, no nosso veículo. Good. The radio antenna now attached to the roof of your scout car indicates that it has been upgraded to a logistic car. Vamos lá. Left click on the flashing button to secure this sector. Continuar. Good job. The territory is now secure. Boa. Notice that a scout car secured territory is immobile. To mobilize the scout car, left click on the secure sector button again. However, the territory will no longer be secured. Now that the territory is captured and secure, we need to bring in some heavier weapons to protect the scout car. This is the Panzer IV F infantry support tank, affectionately referred to as the Stubby for its short cannon. Select your support Panzer. Order the Panzer to move to the indicated... Nosso Panzer. Excellent. Panzer is in position. Ó, já chegou o carrinho britânico ali. No 
Notice the Panzer's slow rate of fire. You can increase its rate of fire by using its rapid fire ability. Left click on the flashing rapid fire button to lock the Panzer down. Click on the flashing rapid fire button to lock the panzer down. Keep firing! Watch this, man! Let's click on the flashing rapid fire button to lock the panzer down. O bicho tá pegando, vamos ver o outro lado. Outra a visão do outro lado aqui. Ah, filho. É guerra. Left click on the flashing rapid fire button to lock the panzer down. Ah tá, fogo rápido. Vamos lá. Aquele acelera os disparos do Panzer. Panzer. However, the benefits differ from vehicle to vehicle. As a Panzer Elite Commander, knowing when to sacrifice mobility for firepower is crucial for victory. Pelo menos por um tempo, né? Enquanto eu estiver atirando aqui, na, se, uh, ativando essa velocidade, fica bloqueado aqui. Notice your Panzer was promoted to a veteran status. In the command panel, there are two veterancy buttons. When Panzer Elite squads and vehicles gain veterancy, this unlocks two special skills, allowing you to customize the combat effectiveness of the unit. The first ability boosts the unit's offensive power. The second, its defensive power. Vamos lá. With each rank of veterancy, you can choose which ability to apply to the unit. Left click on one of the flashing buttons. Good. Your Panzer has been granted an offensive veterancy. Upgrade também aqui no nosso nosso Panzer, né? O bicho tá pegando, filho. Isso aqui não é nada, galera. No jogo é muito mais pesado. Excellent job, infantry neutralized. Intel reports approaching tanks. The Panzer 4F's gun is no match for the heavy British armor. Time to call in the Luftwaffe company commander. Vai levar um tanque aí. Acredito que seja americano, não sei. Ou britânico. Acho que é britânico. Você tem sido acesso ao acesso ao Henschel Strafing Run. É um ataque muito eficaz de anti-tank airstrike. Left click on the flashing Henschel Strafing Run. Now left click to target the indicated position for air. With this ability, Henschel Aircraft will fly by the target location, targeting all enemies within their flight path. Ah. Ah, chegou aqui a nossa, nossa equipe aérea para ajudar. Eita! Viu o rasante ali, né? Vamos ver se a gente consegue um ângulo melhor. Ah. Já foi. The Panzer Elite have two other company commanders besides the Luftwaffe. They specialize in scorched earth and tank destroyer tactics. Now you know about some of the unique aspects to the Panzer Elite. You learned about the three types of half-tracks, infantry and vehicle combat, vehicle capturing and securing, and finally veterancy and lockdown. Excellent work. Panzer Elite training complete. Dismissed. Beleza. Tutorial, então, completo, gente. Tutorial completinho, tá? Bem, muito obrigado a todos que assistiram esse vídeo. Eu agradeço muito aí é, vocês terem acompanhado o nosso tutorial. 
e o próximo vídeo já vai ser o confronto para valer, tá? Bem, é... antes de mais nada, né? antes de finalizar aqui o nosso vídeo, peço a vocês que deixem um like, compartilhem, tá? E principalmente se inscrevam aqui no nosso canal, tá? Que com a ajuda de vocês, esse canal aqui vai crescer bastante. Eu tenho certeza, tenho fé nisso daí, tá bom? Valeu!